Hi everyone, hope your week is off to another really good start. And I'm Silla A. Joy, and we've been looking at singleness and different things that one has, has to consider in this time of singleness. And last week, we were talking about the ideal that we have for our future relationship, or future marriage, and what God has in mind for it. And this week, as mentioned last week, we're going to be talking about the list. So the list of things you write down and, and say, okay, this is the list of things that I want to pray for concerning a husband. These are the things that for me are the non-negotiable in a relationship. So that's what we're talking about today. Let's get right to it. So as we've been speaking about in previous videos, that God is good. And as we grow with him, we start to become aware and to start to believe that he really is good and he really does have good things in store for us. We looked at the verse that says, no good thing does God withhold from those who walk uprightly. So we start to know, okay, God is good. He wants good things for me in my relationship. And we also start to trust him for his timing. And essentially the point of this video in a nutshell is once we know that those things in, are in place, then genuinely ask him for what you want. One of the beautiful things about prayer is that we often think, okay, I'm going to ask for this, that, and the other. But prayer is what changes us when we just bring our genuine needs and desires to God. God not only answers, but sometimes he doesn't answer in the way we thought he would answer because he changes our desires and he causes us to start praying in a different way from that which we expected to at the beginning. So what are the things on which you cannot compromise on when you think of the person that you're going to end up with? So there are some things that are stated in the Bible. So if you are a Christian, then you would put down him being a Christian. But you might even want to be more specific than that. It's not just because you find someone who's a Christian that you're meant for that person. There are millions and millions of Christians in the world. And so the criteria are probably more specific than just that. So for example, mine might be a man of prayer because I love the topic of prayer and everything that has to do with prayer. That is where my heart is. So that would be one of my things. If I'm listing something spiritual, that is on my list, a man of prayer. So here are four suggestions as to how to write this list and then how to pray through it. So number one is to write down all that you can think of in someone you want to marry. These are physical traits, spiritual traits, uh, relational traits. Well, maybe they're really someone who um, is a giver. They are smart. They are tall. They are short. They are whatever it is. Just write it all down because that's what on your, what's on your heart, start by acknowledging it and saying, actually, I think these are my expectations for my spouse or at least my desires. Remember that we know, we're starting to know how good God is and how good of a relationship he wants for us. So don't be ashamed or afraid to actually tell him what you genuinely desire. Number two, prayerfully narrow it down to maybe eight items, eight to 10 items. So the key word here is prayerfully. If you go through your list at the end and you realize that you've really focused on the length of his eyebrows or the exact hue of his iris, maybe one should reconsider. Number three, which is probably one of the most important parts is to review this list with a trusted friend. Someone who you have given the right to say, what were you thinking when you put this criteria down for this relationship? It's really good to bounce that off another person and to just get some kind of perspective. All the better if that person is married and can tell you, actually, you might think that this is what you want, but in reality, it is actually, uh, you don't care about it when you're actually married. <laughs> married people 
have all the wisdom here and can really advise in a valuable way. When you've reviewed that list with your friend, ask them to pray for you. And number four is put that list in your Bible or your prayer journal and thank God that he is good and that he has a good relationship for you and that his plans for you are exceedingly abundantly more than anything you could think of or imagine. So the key word in there in this whole thing is pray. Pray at the beginning, pray while you're writing the list, pray with your trusted friend, pray through it when it's in your Bible, pray, pray, pray. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a shorter video on the list that one writes in what we are looking for in a future spouse. Write down everything you can think of in a future spouse. Number two, preferably narrow it down to maybe eight or 10 items and review that list with a trusted friend. And number four is put that list in your Bible or prayer journal and thank God for who he is leading you to and pray through that list. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Dear God, here is what I want in a man. You know, my Abraham, my Isaac, my Boaz. <laughs> yeah, well, I know you know what I need, but you know, everybody needs a reminder sometimes, you know? So, I know I told you last week, but just in case you forgot, well, God, you know that he has to be hot. Okay. Um, other than that, I would like well-defined biceps, um, a slender but muscular body, and Lord, you know that he and I have got to have chemistry. Yeah. Um, and if you would please, I would like a man of approximately a meter ninety and three millimeters. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you would agree that it's quite the pair that we would be. In short, I want him, hold on, I made a list. Um, I want him tall, uh, slim, thoroughly responsible, uh, fair, with facial hair, uh, entirely dependable, respectful, and as aforementioned, muscular, uh, someone who understands me, you know, a, a great listener, a romantic guy who's as sexy as one can ask for as a Christian, you know, uh, sincere, tender-hearted, thoughtful, wanting 2.1 children just like me, thoroughly compatible with my charming personality, um, with clear skin, a full head of hair, with three PhDs, making a lot of money, gentle yet strong, uh, humble, beautiful smile, you know, uh, understanding, charismatic, someone who goes the extra mile, the three F's, fabulous, funny, and fashionable, yeah, uh, patient, kind, you know, all of those things that are in 1 Corinthians 13, you, you know it, um, oh, and no baggage, please, yeah, uh, I would like someone having walked with you, uh, sincerely since before they were conceived, okay, um, yeah, preferably, will you please, thanks, uh, well, I'll be back next week to r review this with you.